Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Chemical Guys Detail Garage. Today we have a brand new old RAV4 in the shop. As you guys can see, it is white. It has imperfections because it is brand new old to the owner. But in this occasion, we're going to be touching up certain areas around the whole entire car because it is not perfect. First and foremost, it has this like uh, side swipe. I believe it came from a wall, but uh, we're going to do our best to remove everything. Obviously, there's going to be deeper scratches. Unfortunately, it's not going to be able to come out. But then we also have scratches on door handles. So just to get started, I'm actually going to get a piece of tape just to I'll show you guys a 50-50 because I also believe the paint has oxidation on it. So I'll just lay down a piece of tape right here. And this is going to allow me to have a 50-50. So I can show you guys what the paint is supposed to look like compared to what it looks like as of right now. So down here, I won't touch it whatsoever. Up here, I will restore it, but keep this in mind, there is a dent. Unfortunately, the dent can't be removed by polishing. So to start off this detail, we're gonna start off by clay barring it using our clay luber, which is going to be a synthetic lubricant that's going to help me glide my clay bar across the surface. And then I'll be using the light duty clay bar. The light duty clay bar is going to be more than enough clay for me to uh, clay bar this whole entire fender because we're gonna be polishing out this whole entire fender. And as you guys can hear, this paint has contamination. So if your paint feels like this and does not feel like your phone, your glass screen phone, then that occasion you have contamination because your paint is always supposed to feel like smooth as glass. So in this occasion, I'll just open up the clay bar. I'll remove out the clay bar. And whenever you purchase a clay bar from Chemical Guys, it always comes with these plastic films that you must take off before you use it. So just remove it off to the side. I like to save them off because whenever I am done with using a clay bar, I just reattach them to my clay bar. And like this, I keep them in a safe place. So the constant question we always get on our social media, on our YouTube channel, and many more different type of platform is, do I use a whole entire clay bar? And the answer is no. You always want to use a very small portion. So I'll rip off. This is more than enough clay bar to do the whole entire car around like the door handle, the fender, and so on. So in this occasion, I'll get my clay bar. You guys can see how much I'm using. This is how much I'll be using. This is how much I actually have to store away. So I'll get my plastic films. I'll reattach them. So like this, whenever I store it away, and if it falls, it won't pick up any contamination because keep this in mind, clay bars are like gum. If you drop it, it's gonna pick up rocks, it's gonna pick up rock chips, it's gonna pick up more. So I just want to keep it in a safe place, store it back in its cubby, and put it, all, put it away in a safe place. So whenever you're using the clay bar, you always want to roll it out into a ball, then you want to squeeze it down into a patty. So like this, you have a three with finger to work with. You want to stretch it out. Once it's already stretched out, you put on a three with finger, you grab your clay luber, you'll spray some onto the surface. And I like to be very generous with clay luber because keep this in mind, you're gliding a clay bar across the surface and you want to prevent any dry spots because you might cause marring on the paint. So I'm just going back and forth, side to side, helping me remove this contamination that is sitting on this paint. And the clay bar is going to remove everything and it's going to leave it smooth as glass. I'll spray some a little bit more over here. And as you guys can see, the clay luber and clay bar are doing an amazing job at removing contamination. Like right here, you no longer hear any more contamination compared to up here. So you do want to go side to side, up and down. Never go in circular motions because if you do go in circular motion, you pick up a lot of contamination. You'll be getting uh, much more scratches. But if you guys can see, all of that, it just came off the RAV4. All of that is contamination that has been sitting on the paint for years. I don't know how long because I don't know where this car has been. Obviously, it just came into the garage. So we're doing our best to restore it. So we'll start off by wiping it off. I'll inspect my paintwork. I'll go back to the surface. And as you guys can see here, it's smooth as glass. There's no longer more contamination sitting on the paint. You always want to inspect it, touch it around the surface you clayed, because if you, do not, if you still feel like some type of roughness, I would recommend you go back and reclay the, uh, the surface. But in this occasion, there's no more contamination whatsoever. So we're done with the clay bar process. You always want to clay before you polish. If, if you do not clay before you polish, all you'll do is just start pushing all the contaminations deeper into the paint. And over time, you're going to get more scratches, more swirls, and the contamination is going to be much more deeper. It's going to be much more hard to pull out. So now that we're done clay bar on the surface, we're going to be moving on to the polisher. In this occasion, let me run over and get my Torque 10FX. All right, guys, so I, I just ran over to get my Torque 10FX. And as you guys can see, it is a dual action polisher. It's a full digital system, and it's a dual action polisher. So if you press down too hard, it's just going to simply stop. It has a 700 watt motor. It's going to be more than enough to be used on this fender. So we'll get right into it. I'm also going to be using an orange medium duty heavy cutting pad. It's going to help me remove all these scratches for all the oxidation as well as this paint transfer. But I'll be pairing it with V34. So V34 is a hybrid compound that's going to cut deep because this paint hasn't been polished. I see tons of oxidation on it as well as uh, a side swipe from a wall. So I'll just shake it up before using it. I'll open up the spout. I'll go to my polishing pad and I'll add 
four dime size drops. I already have two, three, and four. That is more than enough product that I'll be using. And then just so I can moisten the pad, I'll be using our pad conditioner. This is going to reduce friction and it's going to avoid high spots or heat on the paint. So I'll put the cord over my shoulder as well. I'll go to the surface, I'll blotch it out. And then on speed setting one, I'll just spread it out just so I can get, have even spread. And like this, if I bump it up to speed setting six, it won't splatter all over me. All right, so after spreading out V34, it is time to get into the polishing. So I'll turn on the dial and then I'll bump it up to speed setting six, which is going to show a 40 on here. And then I'll just work it into the clear translucent. Let's get started. All right guys, so I just finished polishing out this area and as you guys can see, the paint transfer is fairly gone as well as oxidation. So I'll take these results over any given day. Unfortunately, these unfortunately cannot come out. It is too deep into the paint. So I'll live with these results and I'm happy with these results. So now I'll just pull off this tape and wow, you guys can see that big before and after. Over here, the paint has its clarity compared to over here is oxidation with this wall transfer that this owner of this car actually hit. So if you have a wall, I recommend you avoid it. If not, you'll have to be taking these steps to remove this paint transfer. But in this occasion, I'll take these results over any given day. So guys, the next stop on this detail is going to be the door handles because the door handles also have tons of scratches and swirls. But before I move on to the door handles, we need to protect this. So I'll actually run over, get butter wet wax, something that's going to enhance shine and to also go enhance protection. It's very easy to apply. I'll be right back. All right guys, so now that I went over and grabbed butter wet wax, it's time to protect the paint. So butter wet wax is going to clean, shine, and protect your paint in one easy step. Before using it, just shake up the product, open up the spout, and I'll just get about two dime sized drops of product onto my applicator pad. I'll go to the surface and I'll apply it. And I'm, I'm, all I'm gonna do is just rub it on. It's going to be wipe on, wipe off formula. You could also use butter wet wax while it's wet or dry. You could use it on your headlights, you could use it on your paint, you could use it on your glass, like this you protect and you enhance shine all over your entire car as well as protection. So after you polish any type of surface of the vehicle, we always recommend protecting it because if not, over time, if you park your car outside, you park your car next to sprinklers, you're gonna be getting water spots, you're gonna be getting fallout all over the paint. So it's going to be wax on, wax off. So I'll just get a microfiber towel and then I'll just go to the surface and just remove it. And wow, it comes off super easy. It's very easy to apply and I'll take these results over any given day. So let's just do a quick recap on what I did on this fender. One, we started off with a paint transfer that came from a wall side swipe. And then I went ahead and started off by clay barring the surface of the vehicle using the light duty clay bar. And then I also used my clay lubricant just so I could help my light duty clay bar glide across the surface. Once we finish doing the clay bar system, it is time to move on to the next step, which is going to be polishing. We use the Torque 10FX and V34 to polish out this fender. And as you guys can see, we got amazing results. The before and after is very wow factor. And then after that, I ran over to get butter wax just to enhance shine and protection. So guys, now it's time to move on to the door handles. Once I'm done with the entire door handles, this is an easy way for you to learn how to polish out your car fast and easy and get the best results as possible. Anyways guys, I'll meet you guys on the door handle. All right guys, as you guys can see, there are scratches and swirls right here on this door handle. And over time, what how this happens is every time someone comes into your car, they scrape their nails and then this is how you end up with fingernails scratches all over your door handle. So it's fairly easy to remove them fast and easy using the same exact procedure, but there's always gonna be that comment. How do I actually polish under my door handles? And it's going to be fairly easy. But before anything, before we get into the polishing fun part, we have to start off by clay bar on the surface because it still has contamination. So I'll spray some clay luber inside there, some clay luber on my clay bar. I'll go to the surface and I'll just clay bar underneath the door handle just so I can ensure I have no contamination. So when I start polishing using V34 and my hand hex logic hand pad, I'm not actually pushing any more contamination deeper into the paint. So after clay barring, that's how fast and easy it is to do. 
we'll just dry out the area and now it is time to move on to our polishing process. So unfortunately a polishing pad cannot fit, fit underneath a door handle so this is why we will be using the hand hex logic hand pad. On one side it has the hex logic uh, figures, on the other side it's just a sponge. So it's fairly easy to use. One way you could use it, you could actually put something on your door handle to push it out but in this occasion the polishing pad is so flexible and it fits anywhere that if you push down on it it's going to contour into the area. So that's all you need. One polishing pad, hand hex logic hand pad and then you're going to be using your desired compound. In this occasion I'll be using V34 just so I could have a uniform finish around the whole entire vehicle. So I'll add one, two, two dime size drops onto my hand hex logic hand pad. I'll go to the hand, I'll go to the handle, I'll push it underneath, and I'll just go up and down and side to side. And like this, it's going to help me remove scratches, swirls, as well as uh, contamination that is sitting on the hand on the door handle. So I'll just go up and down, I'll work it into tr clear translucent, then I'll show you guys the results after. So after going back and forth, up and down using my hand hex logic hand pad and V34, it is time to wipe off the residue just so I can show you guys the results. And wow, I mean, there's a big, huge before and after. I mean, the paint is also more clear on the door handle now. Around it, there's oxidation. So this is why I would recommend cars that are white to constantly be polished out throughout the whole entire year because you don't polish it out or don't take care of it over time you're just going to get contamination sitting on the pores of the paint and your car is actually going to turn yellow or brown in this occasion you guys can see on the fender we brought out the paint back to clarity so guys if you guys like this video today don't forget to give us a huge thumbs up if you want to see more videos like this subscribe to our youtube channel because we have brand new videos every monday wednesday and friday if you want to pick up any of these products in person today you can also stop at your local detail garage and as always i'm henry and thank you for sharing passion for shine with chemical guys All right guys, so just a quick recap and I just wanna let you guys know is that unfortunately the deeper scratches and this unfortunately can't come off the RAV4, it is too deep into the paint and it can be polished out. So that is permanent damage, but I will take the results over any given day. Anyways guys, thank you for sharing your passion with Chemical Guys.